what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to by reacts welcome back to the morning the walking dead season four episode four is here today and we're about to jump in now i told you <sighs> i don't know if 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 daryl and them is gonna make it back but they're stuck out there michonne um that other black dude and um um, I can't remember his name. The, the two black guys is out there with him, okay? With Michonne and Daryl. So, they met up on one of the biggest horde that I've seen in a very long time. Because I think the last horde we saw, not even the one at the ranch was that big. There was a lot of them, but it didn't look that big. This one looks like Atlanta from season one. You know what I'm saying? Like... It, it was ridiculous how far it stretched. You know what I'm saying? Made my skin crawl. It was so many of them. But, you know, if this horde gets anywhere close to that prison, it's done. It's done. They got to move. It's time to go anyways. They've been at that place trying to make a life. But, you know, you got sick people now. There's, they, they, they're, you know, if they stay there, they're basically going to be getting attacked from inside out. Um, So it's. It's, it's, it's tough. So let's see what great plan my man Rick is going to come up with now because they're in the thick of the things. They're in the thick of things right now. And I feel like some, sorry about that. I feel like some, some great decisions or some bad decisions are going to be made throughout this um, season. So we're going to, we're, we're going to go watch that. And see what takes place. But anyways, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, you already know what to do. I will see you guys for the review. Here we are. So Carol is gone. And I have to talk about it because... You know, I wanted to talk about it, but I was taking too long to get back to watching the rest of the show um, during the reaction. So, I do not like this decision <laughs> at all. I, I hate it. I hate this decision because it, it, it. I understand where Rick is coming from, but to banish her, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could understand if, if he still had her there and like told Ty and told Ty listen she had a very good reason for doing this like you gotta understand that like you don't know if they were gonna live or whatever the situation is like that's an excuse I believe it's an excuse to make yourself feel better we all know them two was gonna die people um others died after them so you get what I'm saying we had a whole episode of the whole place of, of people turning and attacking. Like, you know what I'm saying? Having that issue of people dying and then attacking a whole block. They, you know what I'm saying? So how can you look at it and be like, oh, you don't know if they were going to die. Them bitches was going to die. Okay. So, yes, it may have been preemptively presumptuous. You know what I'm saying? Off Carol to take him out, but I, I I I don't I don't agree with this decision by Rick. I think it's the first time that I'm disagreeing with him this hard. Like this decision was bad. If you wanted Carol to take a break from the show, if she wanted to take a break from the show, this was I think this. Uh, I don't think it was the best way to do it. I think they could have done it a better way. Um, you know, setting it up. For the four episodes leading into the season, they did do a good job of setting it up of her getting this banishment. But I just don't agree with the decision. You get what I'm saying? I just don't agree with the decision Um, based on Rick. What, he's changed again? There is no way I, me as Rick as a character would look at Carol and be like, I'm afraid of you now around everybody because you killed these people while they were sick. 
and I was protecting her. At that point, nobody knew what the hell to do. Nobody knew what to do, so I took initiative and tried to do something. Nobody knew what to do. Everybody was in a state of panic. So I'm like, let me try to nip this in the bud. It didn't happen. So it, we could call it a bad decision. Two people lost their lives, but they were going to lose their lives anyways. That's what I'm trying to say because others have died after them. It's like, you don't know if they were going to live. Yes, I do, bitch. They're dead. <laughs> I'm just saying. The, the, the point is, I just don't like this decision. You cannot tell me that a long step, at least even Merle got a better banishment than this. Even Merle. I mean, this is crazy, bro. Carol, out of all people, you couldn't look at him and be like, yo, this woman is family. But now I'm afraid of her. What if it was Lori that did this? Because I could see Lori as a character doing something like this. Lori as a character, I could see her preemptively doing something like this to protect her child. She would do some shit like this. Shane would do something like this. You get what I'm trying to say? So, my, th my thing is, you know... I, I'm, I'm not agreeing with this, man. I can't even do... I mean, the rest of the episode was okay. That other dude, that I don't even remember his name. He's the one that wants the liquor or whatever. I, I, I see what they were doing with the episode, kind of showing the two leaders of... The two leaders going through something with a... You know, going through something with a character and how they're dealing with it. You get what I'm saying? And to me... The contrast that they were trying to provide during the episode, it went over well. So they basically made one controversial to show who's the better leader at this point. I'm telling you, that's how they wrote, they wrote the episode. If you really look at it in its entirety, that's what they were trying to show between Daryl and Rick. Who's better to lead at this point? That's what they were trying to do. I still don't think Daryl can, can step up into that role. Because Rick is still there. I still think Rick is the better choice. But it seems like Daryl is, is the better leader at this point. Because Rick just made a decision that I can't agree with. I can't agree with it. Daryl will at least warn a nigga. You get what I'm saying? Because if it was... It <laughs> you heard what I said during that scene. You heard what I said. Um... You know what I'm saying? For him to do that, not put any medicine in his bag and have the liquor in his bag, like, that nigga, he don't care about nobody but himself. Let's just be honest. So, I see what they were doing during the episode, but I didn't think that this was going to be an episode where I see a character like Carol. I mean, Carol accepted you from, from the get-go. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Come on, man. Daryl is going to be pissed when he heard when he hears this shit and he's probably gonna want to go look for her because nah now probably him and dad probably rick and daryl is gonna be at odds because of this you get what i'm saying i really do think so i really do think so because i think daryl is gonna leave and go look for her because that's that's it's bullshit man let's just call a spade a spade you know what i'm saying it's crazy but anyways man thank you guys so much for tuning in this was a great episode regardless i still give it a 9.5 out of 10 you know what i'm saying so all is not lost it's just that i think they did this to create this kind of reaction for me and i'm not liking it anyways see you guys next time remember to like subscribe if you're new and also leave a comment in the comment section i'll catch up with you guys later peace